right, today's Saturday, April 16th, 2022. Gonna be putting some work in on the 68 here. I believe where we left off is we, we got it off the frame and got the frame broke down. Uh, yesterday afternoon, I knocked out, or my son knocked out uh, all these bushings, uh, trailing arm bushings, lower control arm bushings uh, in preparation for powder coat. So these things are, this is pretty much the batch that's gonna go. Uh, the upper bushings are really good, and so are the upper A-arms. I think the upper A-arms were replaced whenever they molded those arms. So I'd really hate to knock them out only to put them back in. So I think we're just going to powder coat them with them on. I don't think it's going to do any damage. So we've got to load that up. Got the frame outside, waiting on the trailer to get here. Firewall's done. Big big step on this car is we're going to be putting a 44-inch moonroof. Uh, we got lucky and got one out of... Uh, an 80 uh, Lincoln Continental uh, a couple weeks ago so we made a we made a dolly here not gonna go into too much detail on that dolly but we're gonna be prepping for that so this headliner's got to come out I don't know if it's got the flash on or not we're just gonna rip that headliner out see what we got underneath the headliner bows all that stuff's got to come out and and take some measurements um, before we do that we got to separate the reinforcement or the halo from the original roof, which is this. So that's gotta get separated from the skin so that the roof has something to bolt into. So, oh, right on time. Morning. morning, morning, yes sir. So, gonna do that first. And then take some measurements. We did some rough measurements last night, and it looks like we have about an inch of clearance for this tub in the roof. So today's prog uh, process, and we'll bring you guys back once we get started. Uh, Want to explain what you did? Uh, yeah, we removed the skin. We removed the skin up. About back there laughing, man. Was it painful? Yeah. It hurt a little bit. <laughs> Got some battle scars. Um, we removed the skin off the. Up the tub. Or the halo. Or, or the halo, whatever they want to call it. Yeah. Reinforcement. Um, pretty much it, man. I mean. So we just. Uh, use the cutoff wheel to uh, cut the welds. Grind down spot welds. Yeah. That's it. I separate it because it, it's, it's just, it's just a spot welder, right? So you separate the two lips and then you just use a, a cutoff wheel in the middle. All the way around. Smooth like butter. Use a little dolly to, to put the shape back in if you. Mess it up a little bit. You take it back in. So we gotta we gotta tack tack these studs in today before we lose them. Put the other one over there. Yeah. And we lost one. Which is this the one here? We lost one nut. So I have to get one. But yeah. So this is gonna get welded to the cutout that we make on the car. It should slide right in, and then gets get spot welded in these holes that are drilled. We'll get to that and then we get to the roof. So. It's good now. Took about what, three hours? About three hours, yeah. Two hours? You, you got to be careful with it, man, because this thing is kind of thin. Yeah, hey, you don't want to mangle it. Yeah, no, because then it's, it makes, it makes more work. Yep. All right. Cool. So we just took the glass out and the shade and the plastic ring, huh? That way this thing is a lot lighter to be in and out. So actually, what did we say it measured? 59? 59 on inches on the inside? Yeah. And the tub is 53. So we shouldn't have to mess with any of the back reinforcement. We did cut the, the center reinforcement and the back, it's all one piece. So I think, I think we put this this halo back in there and then bolt this to it just to get an idea yeah all right so we got our hole traced out off of the jig we made traced out on the roof Thing is massive. So now we're marking where the actual cut's gonna be using three-quarter inch tape. 
so the the three the we're going to cut on the inside of the tape here and then we're going to bend that down and it's going to have a factory flange similar to that what you think jbl i think you should have the same video in spanish why Hmm. I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good. I mean, we're on the money. Yeah, we measured this. We got the same distance here. Yep. On both sides, front and back. Front, back. We're centered. Plenty of space for the tub on the inside. Yeah, we got like, uh, what do we say? Five more inches in the yeah, back? That was one of the concerns, you know, coming into the project, whether the tub was going to fit without cutting the reinforcements on the roof. And we don't have that. All we had to do was notch the corner. Yeah, we did notch these corners here, but we, we were still able to save the sun visor holes. Yes. So, so we're good. Still run sun visors. Yeah, the motor itself is going to be uh, about about half, a quarter to a half from here. So it's not exactly touching, but there's plenty of space here for the motor. So the, the money mark, these roofs are all the same. Well, somewhat the same. From here to here on 65 through 70, the money measurement eight? is eight inch. So from right here, where the opening is gonna be, because this is gonna bend down to here, from here to here is eight inch. Yeah. That's the money. Use the rear view mirror as a reference point for center. It is center, yeah. And we confirmed it. And then I believe this back window gap right here was 49 inches, so center of that is, is uh, 24 and a half, which is right here. So it, it really looks like you would have to sag the tub Mainly because because of uh, because of that the way that arch is, but really if you go off of the roof skin itself, I don't think we're gonna have to sag it very much in the back. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe a little bit. By sag, I mean I mean uh, bring it down. Because but by looking at the car, it, it looks like the 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 sunroof's gonna have to be like like this. But not really, because you tuck it up in the roof itself. So, man, this, this little jig's gonna come in handy, man. Yeah, yeah, it took eight hours to make that sucker. Kind of borrowed the idea from Justin. Yep. Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir. Man, this thing is gonna be huge. Boulevard with the roof back. Uh huh. You know that, man. Uh huh. Uh huh. You gonna change the name? To what? Fredo the Pope. <laughs> Pope Fredo. Pope Fredo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So we'll bring you back once we start cutting here. We're about ready to make a cut, huh? Yeah. So we try to replicate the factory corners. Who's cutting? The owner? All right. Oh, we need to start. We need some starting points, huh? Some in the corners. Yeah, some holes. Some bits. Some okay. bit. As long as the the. We. The blade goes through uh, the I don't bit. think that fits. But that's a good, and then we use a step up. To so then this one then yeah, and then step up. You good to cut it?
go out to the corner, John? Hey. Come here, man. Thumbs up. Is the blood pressure medicine or what? <laughs> I have the picture in the junkyard. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, the video so we got it cut now we're gonna use our special jig and uh, and flange it down so we'll bring you back once we start that Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Oh, you're gonna do a couple cuts? Uh, just right here. A couple little relief cuts? Alright, so everything is, is hammered in. And it's really strong. Strong back here too. What you think, Bobby? Yeah, we can get stronger once we put this up here. Yep. So all we're gonna do right now is is uh is tack tack weld on this lip right here, the the roof of the actual car to the reinforcement where the tub bolts to. And then in the future, we just need to put a little piece here, connecting here to here, and then one in the in the back where the where the tub is gonna meet. That's it, huh? Wooden shit, huh? So bring you guys back in a little bit here. Man, so here we are, end of the day. And we got the hole cut, that was the goal we had today. So we got it cut, we got it flanged, and hammer formed, and we got the, the halo in place. So we got the back lip bent around it, kind of like how the factory Lincoln had it. And then here we got it spot welded, like the factory, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, we got a nice glare. So then the tub is gonna bolt to that. And about what five or six bolts and that's it what you say sir I'm happy, man. yeah Excited. looks great I'm jealous. yeah man like heart minimal 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 body work man just real a really light skim coat like around the whole cut and that's it I just want to say if it wouldn't have been possible if it wouldn't have been in the whole state of Texas <laughs> Why? We're the greatest. Huh? Oh, yeah, we're the greatest. <laughs> yeah, man. So I think uh, two two more days. This or maybe one, one long one. There's still some work. We got to do a little patch job on the tub back here. Take take it apart and grease grease stuff, kind of like what, what Justin did. Clean it up, wash it. New weather strip. Yep, fix the rust back here so it don't leak. Got to plug the front uh, drain holes. But man, I'm loving the roof, man. This thing is huge. This shot back that with the skirt. That's the money shot. With the skirt. Yeah, man. All right, so. Part one of this video, I guess we'll bring you back part part two. But man, it took the shape just like of the jig, dude. Nice little curve. I'm gonna send you the link for the LED Y'all stay tuned for